Hello everyone. So I have the power supply connected. I'm testing it now. As you can see, I have the test meter in line with the power supply coming out the 12 volt jack. And the voltage is holding steady at 12.79 volts. Um, a little contraption that I build real quickly just to test out the output of the power supply. So I have a um, D sub dongle to check the outputs there. I'm, I'm running the load with a 5 volt resistor, I believe carbon. And I'm not going to keep it along because I don't have the fan connected, but everything is working great, as you can see. So tomorrow I just do I will do more testing as far as using the scope to make sure um, the ripple output is slow. There's no AC riding on um, the DC line, so to speak. But this is the power supply that is working. So I'm going, as you see, I turn off my isolator. Pass is holding some charge, but the meter is off. Again, this is a five little contraption just put together real quick to make sure that everything is working is powered up. Right tomorrow again, I said I'm gonna do some more, um, uh, more deep testing before I release this unit. Let's turn it back on. You see, that's why electrical hazard authorized was not only because. The light LED is slowly dimming out, but the capacitors are still charged and it um, discharging slowly. So if I turn it back on, the light is back on, LED is back on. And again, I like this little device that I'm using just to check the output load with the 5 ohm resistor here. Um, roughly around 2.3 amps, which is correct if you do the math. And this is the cable that I had to build and come around here. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is put this, close everything up and then run a full test. Okay, this is Randolph Parker MS, thank you.